Welcome back to Let's Play Star Sector. What a familiar sight this is. Jangala, our old stomping grounds. I do get a bit nostalgic. Anyway, there's some heavy piracy activity here, so... I don't know. Let's chill here and kill some pirates, everyone. Now, I want to get the onslaught. Before I kind of put Cypher Rage into a bit of a retirement, so to speak, I want to get the onslaught and like literally just this and maybe like some support ships to carry the supplies. And then I want to go ramble in some random system and kill everything and just see how that works. If it does work, if it doesn't, eh. It's a big investment, but we can handle it. But right now, what I want to do is go hunt some heavy bounties. So to do that, we'll need our good ships. Probably won't be needing the tankers. We can probably leave them here. And as for logistical... There we go. We got these two extra freighters. Now we just need to sort things out. Get our order of battle re... Unfucked. And then... We'll head out. There's some... There's an interestingly large enemy fleet over there. And I think we might actually get a good fight for once. So I'm gonna reorder things. Then we'll be right back. Alright. Looks like we're geared up and ready to go with our, you know, our main battle fleet. Some freighters to carry stuff and whatnot. Oh, trade experience. Nice. Very nice. Uh, I don't need this anymore. Also, I wasn't aware until recently that getting levels up in the different uh, aptitude, like leadership or technology, actually gives you stuff. Very nice stuff, too. We'll see what the integrated targeting unit does at some point. Uh, I want to mention I'm really gratified by all the interest in this series. I'm really having fun with this particular indie title. I'm glad I discovered it. Yeah, that food should have done a shower. We helped. We didn't alleviate it completely. We could have made another run, but whatever. We helped. Oh my god, that's a battleship. Oof. I mean, I was kind of wondering if they'd have it, but wow. Ooh, this could go bad. Okay, review. What do we have? Two heavy cruisers, one light cruiser, three destroyers, a shitload of fighters, some carriers, and some freighters. The map has us plotted as a fairly even fight. They have a slight advantage. Oh man, this could result in us losing big. Because they have four destroyers, the fucking onslaught battleship, which is almost impossible to fight. I'm gonna now demonstrate that for you, everybody. I'll be taking command of the trench in on this. I'm gonna run a simulation where we bring in all of our shit, which we can't even do. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's do this. I guess we'll save our last two points. Deploy that, and then... For the enemy... One... Onslaught class battleship. There is no defective version of it, it just is. The Paragon class is actually listed as being better, but I don't know. Okay, let's just see what a single battleship completely unsupported can do to us when I have my entire fleet here. All units full ahead. Just see what one onslaught battleship can do. And you know how we stack up against it. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. So we can do that to us basically instantly. Our guys do get behind it, though. Oh, that's so painful. Notice how we do eventually, you know, get him. So if there's nobody else here, but look how long it's taken to die when literally everything is just unloading on the fast and the back zones. Look how long it takes for them to die. Everything we got it. Okay, 
Okay, so it's beatable. We actually have some pretty heavy assets. Uh, what took damage in the fight? Looks like some of our ships took damage in the fight. Hmm. Thing is, they're gonna have destroyers too. There's no way they're gonna run away. Um. This could get real interesting, everybody. Well, I was... Um, the fire's kind of running out on this playthrough. I was going to put it on ice soon, at least for a while, until the new update, or I download a mod package. Oh my god, they're running. Well, that makes this a bit easier. Greetings, honorable blah 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 blah. Assuming direct control of this form. Kill him. The Heron can keep up with them, which is bad because it will follow them to hell. Why can I deploy more in a real battle? Is it because I have, like, leadership skills and shit? Whatever. We will deploy everything. Deploy right. Deploy left. Yeah, let's see how it goes, everybody. They might turn around and fight us. They've got us outnumbered right at this very moment. Hopefully our carriers know to stay the fuck out of the way. Shields up. Come on, guys. Don't let them... Don't let them turn around. The cruiser's kind of blocking my line. Oh, the carrier needs to go. Carry needs to fall back. Uh, what needs to die specifically? I'm not gonna give any orders to my AI this time. Look, they overloaded the destroyer firing behind. They bow the bastard. Right into him. Uh oh. Time to bend. Guys, pour it on. I mean, when the battleship is dead, everything else. I'm not gonna say small potatoes, but you know. Pour it on the engines. Alright, the torpedo bombers. Oh yeah. Alright, pour it on. <laughs> Never thought I'd be doing that, huh? Good work, everybody. Took some damage on our ships. Interesting how... That ship is not obeying my commands. What the hell ever? Kill him. Now the rest of them are gonna get away. I kinda want you guys to retreat. Yes, retreat right through their destroyers. Great. Splendid. Alright everybody, let's get going. They're probably gonna get away at this point. Somebody grab that. Shit, we can fight the rest of them again. Can we slow any of them down? I'm gonna transfer command on the fly. To the furthest ship up. Command shuttle moving in. Now with the nav buoy and the zero flux bonus. We should be able to really fucking get moving. There we go. Convince some of them to slow down. That's nice. Alrighty, incoming missiles. We should give up the PD. There we go. Oh, they're in trouble. There we go. Got him. Nice work, everybody. Good and proper. Fuck your salamanders, bro. Fuck your bitch ass salamanders. That one guy is gonna get away. Oh, 
I mean, if we do this, he won't. Um, I'm a little surprised. I was not expecting it to go like that. Got him. Little collision alert. Yeah, we got kind of banged up, but none of our major assets even died. We took heavy craft losses. Because the fighters tried to engage the heavy assets without us. That's great. They were able to get away though. Not combat ready. That's interesting. Do we not have the ships for it? Hammerhead. Sure. I like hammerheads. Why can't I deploy this? What the hell happened? It's gotta be a crew shortage. Um. <clears throat> Why are these ships going down? I know, crew shortage. Um. Five life signs on board. We should be able to use one shuttle. I'm gonna overwhelm them with six marines and two crew. And a new hammerhead. Wow. So we gained ships from the battle with the giant fuck off battleship. <clears throat> that was an interesting outcome to the match. Again, I was not expecting to be able to do that to the enemy. And yeah, crew shortages. <clears throat> Significant crew shortages. We need to mothball this destroyer so it doesn't repair. Honestly, we can mothball some of these freighters too. Just until we can get home. work everyone learned him who's boss we collected the bounty from Sharu I don't know if we get the actual bounty because they got away I hope so there we go and we made everyone like us I am a little surprised Yeah, let's get to Jangala, then we can go to the other high-class bounty over there. Which I guess, you know, anything after that will be a bit of... <laughs> so we killed an Onslaught battleship. You need that kind of <clears throat> concerted, like, just gang up on it with seven heavy ships. Because if we tried to take that on with even just, like, half of what we had, um, not so much. But wow, there we go. So it can be beat. It's tough as hell. <clears throat> Good price on metals here. Fuck your assault chain gun, man. We'll just keep the rest for storage. We're not hurting for cash. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love how I bought a headset which was like a direct upgrade and it turned out to be worse. At least in terms of audio recording quality, like I've heard the old mic and the old mic sounded better. I don't understand. I did tweak some mic settings though, so I don't know what effect that will have. Anyway, looks like we need some... well, let's sort things out, shall we? Would I like another hammerhead? I really think they're stylish ships. So yes, I will take another hammerhead. <clears throat> SDS. Oh, they were uh, deserters from the Sindrian Dictat. Interesting. Yeah, we still have 104 logistics rating. Which is not bad. I mean, it's essentially zero. But with a fleet this size, and being able to support it without paying any penalties, that's pretty nice. Um, my other idea was stuff like buying a bunch of defective shit like hounds and Cerberuses and mules and just rolling around with this giant fleet of utter crap and flattening things through sheer numbers. I've seen someone who bought like 50 hounds and <laughs> just toss them at the enemy. Um, an interesting strategy.
A lot of supplies to just completely repair a hole from basically destroyed. Basically shrekt them. Oh no, combat readiness. <clears throat> I think some more greenhorns will be fine to round out the fleet. Even more people, even more supply consumption, yay! We, we need to be ready to sustain a lot of casualties, wow. Now most missions won't be quite that harsh on us. I think this will be fine. There we go. Burn level 6, why? Oh! You know, I could have fixed that and we could have been home faster. If I was, you know, good at the game. <laughs> um, integrated targeting unit. Interesting. This works the same as the dedicated targeting core. I think I want this on everything. Wow. We need to give up a lot to get it. Hmm. For the range boost? Nah, no, fuck it. Plus, I just don't feel like it. This can be the long ranger. Uh. Alright, heavy needlers. This is your time. Impress the hell out of me. Suppose, as usual. You can also do torpedoes on the front and just that would be interesting okay let's do something interesting shall we and just point defense everywhere augmented engines dedicated targeting units did use up a lot of our spaces we were gonna use for like vents and shit this will be interesting this is a balanced destroyer. Now... <clears throat> three on one, bring it on. Still liking the fact that I can pull a 177 on a destroyer. Very nice. Shields up. <clears throat> You're gonna try to flank us, of course. Whoa. I guess the anti-shield stuff wouldn't work too well for this. Generates a shitload of heat, too. Blah, 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 blah. Random shots. He can probably win, like, an efficiency duel. Because look, these needlers were not made for anti-armor. They look cool. This was these were really not the ships to test this on. I'll kill you with my point defense lasers. I could too. I could sit here. I'm content to do this all day, why? Okay, now show me against a pair of lashers. Not regular lashers, because they'll fire salamanders and be annoying. I just want to see what this thing does against shields. This might actually be a good knockout punch, you know? Needle their shields down and then fuck them up good and proper. Not bad. Firing those both at once, definitely not a good idea as we can see. Hmm. Interesting weapons. I don't know if I like them. Not to mention they're 15. 
Uh, fuck it. Let's go with the arbalests on these. This thing can just snipe enemies. Otherwise, this is fine. We're not even gonna have the extended shields for this one. We'll see how it does. For the rest. Is everything outfitted? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, we got another ordinance point. I was sure I spent that. We probably got like another... another one. Whatever, it's good. Ordinance points means you can fit more shit on ships. I like it. I'm prioritizing vents now, which was the suggestion given to me. At least for the most part. Alright, um... We expended an interesting amount of supplies on that expedition, wow. I mean, it was probably worth it. We're now using 11 per day. Well, I guess we gotta get out there and get another win. I'm gonna buy... Yeah, especially at the rate the supplies are going for, that was worth it. Yeah, there we go. 500 total. Now, the other bounty. I don't think this will be as much of a challenge. So you might be asking, what, then why are we taking all our ships? Because I feel like it. I think after this... This might be the final part of the LP for a bit. We've done a lot of what the game has to offer. Yeah, I might try a different playing style. If I play with mods, I might do the trying to be a legitimate businessman. And these guys are out of the way. I'm still proud of my fleet speed. So I take it logistics in uh, Heroes of Might and Magic. Well, they might give us a bit of trouble. I hope they turn and fight. They're probably gonna just run away. Yeah... I mean, I know why. It's just kinda sad. Well, they got some wolves. Yeah, good luck to us trying to chase those fuckers down. I'm gonna take command of the... the torpedo destroyer and pretend that... Oh, I haven't changed the register. Whatever. What the hell ever. We are gonna... Yeah, we'll send the trenchant in. Fuck it, everything from behind. And the heron so it can keep up. Ah, fuck it. Let's not bring in the heavy cruisers. Unless we have to. I'm pretty sure we can manage without them. They're still fairly overmatched. Transferred our flag to our new acquisition from the pirates. Let's just get in there as fast as we can. Which is pretty fast. I mean, it's not bad. Alrighty. Whoa! Torpedoes! Got him! And a cruiser goes down just like that. Both of them, actually. Got him. Alright, so that was fun. Good work, everyone. The rest of them are getting away. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Not a lot we can do about it, since we don't have frigates ourselves. I could have gotten the nav buoys and been a bit smarter about this, but whatever. There we go. Somebody go capture the nav buoy. One random squadron. We can probably catch up to some of them. Like, this guy's probably toast. That's for command. It's the autopilot function. What it's... what's it... alright. You. 
As in, you, do this shit for me. He's turned around, he's not gonna make it. I'm assuming his flagship was one of the light cruisers. Ooh, torpedo bomber hit. Very nice. Yeah. There we go. Gotcha. Might get the rest. Have they turned? Their fighters are... No, they're just lagging behind. I really don't think we're getting the wolves. If there's one thing they're good at, it's controlling the speed and motion of the battlefield and all that shit. These are some durable fighters. What's interesting to me is fighters are little mini ships. They can build up flux, they can get overheated, they can get flame outs when you shoot their engines. Yeah, this was to be expected. I'm pretty sure we just win. Sure. Uh, bring me that ship if you can. We'll use it as a prize ship. Alright, there we go. We can fix it up and sell it. Definitely a fixer upper. Bam. Da -da -da. Level up. Oh, hey. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's nice. Uh, all that's nice. Confirm. Suddenly, the <laughs> flea requirement is in half. That's that's spectacular. Okay, and repair this thing if you guys want. I don't care. Ninety-three a day. I really hope that's not a consistent thing. Yeah. Whatever. We win. LOL. The independence, that's not a bad just cash bounty on the spot. And I'm hoping taking out the flagship was enough. We did make them go to ground. Set a course for Jangala. Let's head on out. We're now going five. Let's give the new thing augmented engines, shall we? Degraded engines. Ooh. Man, fuck your degraded engines. I can still put I can still augment the degraded engines. Which is interesting. But whatever. I think we've sent a message to the pirates this day. Just a couple bounties. A couple fights that went shockingly well. I don't know. Oh my god. Guys, I know you want to fix up the destroyer. Can we please just fucking not? Until we get home. Wow, that ate up a lot of supplies. What the fuck? Note to self, do that shit in port. Wow. We can basically have our normal supply consumption this way. So that's nice. Well, it's fully repaired. I, why do I get this feeling it would have been cheaper to do it at the fucking dock? And the destroyer probably won't be even worth it, but whatever. I'm not keeping a defective hammerhead. Yeah, look at that. We'll sell it to the military, even though it doesn't make a difference. That was probably not worth it. I don't know. Same stuff we looked at last time, looks like. Yeah, no changes, really. Some shit in storage. Um... Not sure what else to say, really. I appreciate everybody's interest in this series. I have had a blast over the past month as I've discovered Star Sector and started playing it, you know, pretty heavily. When we've reached level about level 30 with two characters now, big fleets rambling around, I feel like we've done a lot of what Vanilla has to offer, and that's quite a bit. 
And mods can offer us more, a great deal more in fact, now that they're being, you know, updated and being brought up to modern, you know, the newest patch basically. Integrating all that stuff into the newest patch. Um, but for now, I kind of feel like we're at a decent point to, you know, take a break at Jangala. Chill out, and maybe later we'll continue the adventures of Cypher Rage in some form. Um, but for now, I mean, I feel like we've done a good job, everybody. I feel like we've done well. We've reached the end of leadership. I'm sure we could max all these out given enough time, but I've had fun with the series. Thanks for watching, everybody. So this will probably be the final one of this playthrough for a while. Might download some mods like Star Sector Plus and play those, or I don't know. And when there's a new major update, I'm probably going to be on it, because this is one of my top games recently. I really enjoyed it. I hope this has inspired you guys to go ahead and support the developers. It's still pretty cheap. It's that kind of Minecraft system where, as the game gets more complete, it will get more expensive. Uh, but for right now, it's been about two in-game years since we started, and... Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Hunter Blacklin. I'll see you guys next time.